Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. I got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from the intuitive, intuitive, into it, sorry, Zodiac 108 deck and see what comes out and then we're going to go ahead yeah, okay, so handcuffs. Handcuffs comes out and it's time. And so it kind of comes out reverse. So you're no longer handcuffed when it comes to somebody controlling you or you feeling defensive. So it says, because it, it's in the reverse, basically, control, defenseless, target, handicap, held back, pray, suppress, need to, need to break free, detained by external forces, applying force, incapacitated, subject, feeling powerless. You're no longer feeling powerless. The answer, yes or no, it says it's time. It's time to take action. Things are fast-tracked. To unfold quickly and smoothly so everything is working in your favor and therefore when it comes to yeah you traveling and you know having your blinders on when it comes to a situation um open dishonor clear pl clearly i don't know how to say that but anyway you are not having your blinders on and you are um yeah on the go but you're not dealing with any dishonor or any type of humiliation anymore so again it's time for you to remove the blinders it's time for you to remove the handcuffs it's time for you to move forward when it comes to feeling vulnerable and looking at the fine print seeing the details of how things are supposed to be and what they need to be this is because boom, 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 you are the phoenix and the flamingo is here so of course we are the phoenixes we rise from the ashes that's the reason why i named my channel this the phoenix empath intuitive i'm very empathic and i'm also intuitive and I'm also a phoenix. I rise from the ashes and I don't let things hold me down. Now, when it comes to keeping me stagnant, air is here, sap is here, flamingo. We have fine print. When it comes to transformation, what keeps you stagnant is dealing with the person that makes you speak in lack. My last reading had something to do with lack. Um, somebody keeping you in lack energy. The reverse energy is shooting a star. Quick action. It was they, People are slow to take action. Could be some type of air energy that is slow to take action. And unlikely. At this time, the situation or outcome is unlikely to occur. The pearl. This is our energy. Pearl energy is our stone. When it comes to stone. What is it? Uh, stone what is it um birth birth stone birth whatever it is but when it comes to the emotional uh forces opening up experiment experimental wisdom honesty intuition perception loyalty the moon subconscious mind hidden layers de diving deep layers developing characters um somebody was slow to take action so we have uh, again i'm gonna go ahead and read some more energies but let me look at the bottom of the deck autumn full, full moon the queen and then within six months this is um um you know this is you know the timing or the time frame when it comes to dealing with the queen type energy what is which is our energy the nurturing energy that we have and it says within six to nine months on a full moon so whatever the autumn is to you or whenever that time frame is for you this could be happening somebody could be quick to do something but anyway let's go ahead and read it says blinders Victim mentality, confusion, tunnel vision, resistance, resist clarity, confirmation, bias, restriction, narrow focus, echo chamber, denial, ob oblivious, out of touch, hyper focus, and concentration. So you could have had your blinders on and been handcuffed to this person who, again, um, is, is slow to do things. And um, even though that they have the potential to do everything that they need to do, they're slow to do it. And so you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And then now you're at the point to where you're moving forward. And it says airplane, travel, long distance, speed, overcome, rise up, freedom, no boundaries. They don't like boundaries, you know, so they, they want to be free and do the things that they want to do. And they don't want to feel like, you know, they've been making a mockery of or vulnerable. They don't want to feel vulnerable. So therefore now things are changing because they realize the dishonor that they caused you and the fine print. You're looking closer and you're rising, you're transforming. So if the fine print says detail, closer look, inspection, research, be careful in depth, um, pay attention, don't assume, through thorough, deep dive, hidden information, double check, 
read between the lines. You had to read between the lines and rise from the ashes as the phoenix, you know. New era, alchemy, transmutation. Um, it says ascension. The end is just the beginning. So, again, you rise from the ashes, the flamingos. When it comes to this soulmate energy that's moving slow, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, um, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential. So in the, in, in the long term, they have the potential. That is what you saw when you fell in love with this person or felt like this person was the end-all, be-all that kept you handcuffed with blinders on and taking and waiting and being patient. You know, and it says um, the it factor because they have the in factor, it factor, two of a kind. And then it says alluring and then je ne, je ne sais quoi. And then it says sap, resourceful, mat needed materials, flow, wealth, Essence of life, it says spring, blood, nourishment, sweetness, energy, vitality, grounded roots, abundant, uh, physical health, life force, and then the person of air, the greatest men mentalist. So this person had like a, a way of making you feel some type of way. And they were very eloquent, rational, uptight, excuse me, upright, quick-witted, unemotional, controlling, sarcastic, cold, abrupt, critical, calculated, teacher, lawyer, surgeon, journalist and chef this is the energy that this person held when it came to you cancer and so um it said unlikely because right now is not the time it says within six to nine months at this time the situation out uh or outcome is unlikely to occur that doesn't mean that this hasn't been at the point of where it's about to happen it just means that right now you had to rise from the ashes and take out the blinders and start to do what you needed to do because of the way that they were it just kept you emotional and then they were slow to um slow to take quick to give that's what you are uh, or something like that i can't remember how that saying is i think i might have said it right but you know they they are slow to take action and you are quick to give in order for them to try to take action. But it's all because of the way that you love. And the way that you love them. And so let me pull from the yin and yang oracle deck first. And then we'll go from there. So you could be dealing with the air energy again. Somebody who kept you handcuffed with blinders on. And now you're releasing that detachment from this situation. And so yeah till debt, debt do us part. There is a renewal and also a contract career and commitment. So that you could have had some type of contract with this person or they care about contracts. They care about money all day, every day. But you had to have a renewal in order for them to have some type of awakening and to be able to move forward. Yeah, they kept you at a stalemate and kept you blinded, you know, and avoided you and avoided the situation. They were very detached and cold and aloof. Uh, when it came to certain things and you had to trust in divine timing so again not saying that this won't happen but uh, it was unlikely to happen by a certain time or the time that you needed it to happen air energy comes out just lets me know that this is a twin flame this could be a, a air energy air type energy that you've been dealing with assistance from your spirit guide this person needed to heal again it could have been an air energy i'm going to go ahead and pull a tarot this is a twin flame energy that you are now uh mirroring and now you become detached and cold and avoidant. And now you, you think you put money ahead of uh, everything else in a different way, though. Uh, a card fell on the ground. Hold on, let me get it. Yeah, you put money. Yeah, hermit energy. Because you went into hermit mode. And this is unsure energy. This is the way it came out. But you went into hermit mode in order to see things from a new light. And so, therefore, you started to come out of this on top and feel in a certain way. And you recognize it, you recognize your strengths and also by you isolating yourself and distancing yourself from this person, place, thing, or situation, you became very independent and aware of the situation. And that's the reason why there was a renewal or a spark and you started to work on your finances. So, of course, you know, I'm going to pull from the finance deck and then I'll pull from a message from your twin flame. Uh, because again, yeah, you, you pass go, you weren't no longer in hermit mode. You came out of it. You took a leap and you started to work on yourself and get out, get rid of the blinders that this person was causing you. And yeah, collaboration. You knew this person didn't want to work as a team and the Knight of Swords energy, the Knight of Swords energy is be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a cer certain minded, excuse me, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a, hold on in a be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination this person wasn't ready to make decisions and that's the reason why they weren't willing to collaborate and they didn't have clarity on what it is that they wanted to do so therefore when it comes to the ace of swords energy air energy um again the knight of swords air uh 
Ace of Swords and the collaboration of the Three of Pentacles um, didn't happen. And because of the fact that they had to make a difficult decision or they, they were saying, you know, with the separation, they were confused about making a decision. And so, you know what? You said, I'm going to make this decision for you. I'm going to move forward and trust in divine timing and end things. Death energy and also Five of Swords. So win or lose way, I'm going to make it. Death energy says... Um, Embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So the healing brings new beginnings. When you decided to, when you decided to trust in divine timing and ask your spirit guides for help, this person had no other choice but to heal and to make want to do things, win or lose. You had to send strength and healing. Period to this person, place, thing, or situation because of the fact that this person wasn't ready to get to the point that. They had, they wanted to heal. So that was ego. So five of swords energy is ego, an unwinnable situation when it comes to, yeah, wishes coming true. You what? my son just scared me again. Okay. Just thought I'd tell you that. Go ahead and laugh at me because I'm recording. Anyway, he's back there. He just walked in and scared the crap out of me. Anyway, wishes do come true. This is what something that you wished about. This being your twin flame and you having this person to heal. Um, and that's the reason why you sent strength and healing. Jesus Christ. Watch me work. You said, you know what? I can show you better than I can tell you that I'm going to come go after my dreams. I'm going to go after everything. And if it's meant, I'm going to trust in divine timing and ask my spirit guides to help me and win or lose. I'm You're going to see the beauty in me. So just watch it. And watch me work. And that's just how you had to be. And that is you taking the blinders off and also the handcuffs and, you know, you know, a vulnerable situation. But that's you and your confidence back. Queen of, Queen of Wands energy. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself. Own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. Boy, my heart is beating so fast, just to let you know. Yeah, it comes with heavy burdens, though. And you also knowing high priestess energy, something that can only be understood through experience. The burdens that this person caused you is making you have to look at things in a new light because, again, you cannot wait for this person any longer. And therefore, when it comes to the way that they support you, bottom of the deck, yeah, they're causing you to be stressed out. So this twin flame is causing burdens and you to be stressed out. And therefore, Queen of Pentacles energy, like JDS Tarot says, send strength and healing to him, period. Like he says, um, the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. And so when it comes with the Queen of Wands with confidence, the confidence will go under and they will go and you will go into hermit mode because this person doesn't want what you want. And therefore, you know, again, you become toxic to yourself, you, your burdens weigh you down, and you become stressed out, and therefore, you'll do anything when it comes to uh, connections, um, when it comes to two of cups energy, love, friendship, and a connection, or family, but the page of wands says, yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, the only thing that's real is the present moment, so you had to live in this present moment in order to get through having the handcuffs and the blinders on in order for you to see things in a new light, if that makes sense. So I just believe that that is where you are when it comes to this situation. You're working on yourself. And again, I'll pull from the into it. I, I said I was going to pull from another deck and I forgot which one it was. But anyway, there you have it. Um, I'm pulling from the messages from your beloved um, twin flame. It says bottom of the deck growth. A card fell on the ground. I'm going to get in a minute. If this came out of my last read, it's crazy. If I hurt you and I'm, I, I've hurt you and I'm sorry, I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was reacting in fear. So then again, that is what their excuse is. So you had to take the blinders off and, and understand that I can't wait for you until, excuse me, you're ready to grow up. And therefore, all grown up is here. And then communication. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases tension that is sometimes there when I talk. And so this person isn't able to communicate and they're, you know, the blinders in the way that they, they don't want to show that their vulnerability when it comes to them having to grow up, but you're over that shit. So anyway, all grow, all about growth. I'm changing this pattern and moving forward. So if they're moving forward, this is your twin flame. If you want this person back, then that is what's going to happen when it comes to this situation. You have to recognize the burdens and also understand that you can be toxic to yourself if you keep these blinders on and if this person isn't willing to work with you and if their ego is there and they're detached and they avoid you and 
you know, that's when the endings have to come is when they cause too much stress in your life. So this twin flame is causing stress in your life, but they're trying to change. So you just said, I can show you better than I can tell you. And that's what you're doing. You're working on yourself. So now let's pull from the four agreements. And then we're going to pull from the crystal deck and then let this energy go. Um, so the card that comes out, my heart's still beating fast. Um, don't take anything personal. Again, you can't take this energy personal because this person is the way that they are because of the fact that they've been through something they don't want to heal uh, heal from it. And the best thing they can do is avoid it and be vulnerable and not be vulnerable. Become immune to poison. Listen, it says the whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is a gift from the second agreement. And you're not going to take it personal anymore. You're going to move forward. And now we're going to pull from the crystal deck. And hopefully my son doesn't scare me again. There you have it. Yeah, so I just feel like you have to say what you want, mean what you say, and go from there. And not listen to the negativity of this person. Because they're the way that they are because of the fact. The pyrite deals with all chakras. I'll go ahead and let you know all the chakras, which is the crown chakra. The crown chakra is your spirituality, your selflessness, and your wisdom, your belief system, right? And also, the third eye chakra is your intuition, perception, and understanding. That's the meaning of what's understood doesn't have to be explained. Once you explain yourself and you say everything that you want, you say what you mean, mean what you say, you don't have the ability to take anything personal because you were impeccable with what you said. You were impeccable with your word. Your throat chakra is your ability to communicate, to express yourself, but to most importantly, trust in what you say. Say what you want, mean what you say. Okay? Your heart chakra is your ability to love, to be harmonious, and to forgive, to send strength and healing, period, no matter what the situation may be. The solar plex chakra is your optimistic energy, your clarity, and you taking your personal power back. So that's getting rid of the handcuffs and the blinders that this person placed in your situation has caused you to feel when it comes to you being stressed out and also to say, watch me work. I trust in the universe. I'm not trusting in you to see my beauty. I know my beauty. And so you're, um, you're taking your personal power back. Your sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. Sending strength and healing, but also understanding that when it comes to confidence shining from the inside, when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think, Queen of Wands energy, when it comes to the high priestess, something that can only be understood through experience, you're going to learn to love yourself and not to be stressed out or not to drink anybody else's poison. And then when it comes to the root chakra, your ability to be stable, to survive, and also to ground yourself no matter the situation you find yourself in. This is prosperity, protection, and vitality, which is the pyrite. It says, I succeed in all endeavors. I succeed in all my endeavors. Sorry. And then the sacral chakra, crown chakra, is the champagne aurora quartz it's meditation resolution and altruism it says my spirit mind and heart are in harmony so as long as you trust in what you say trust in yourself and trust that the spirit your spirit guides and your energy will um supersede all of this negativity and bullshit you'll be fine and it says again my spirit mind and heart are in harmony the green calcite the ability to send strength and healing period no matter what the situation is, because remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation is here to teach you a lesson. And so this deals with your heart chakra, emotional balance, healing, and release. I find pleasure in the simple joys in life, and that is who you are. You find pleasure in loving a person for who they are, but when it becomes toxic, you have to remove yourself. So now, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.